So the new themes for um, the modern sites have support for modern document libraries, modern communication sites, and modern team sites. And by providing this, uh, we now can um, have a consistent look and feel across modern and classic SharePoint websites. And this is great um, to keep the same branding consistent across all sites. But to show you um, better how this works, I will um, jump into the website and I will show you a demo. So this is a classic team site uh, with some of our web parts applied to it and with one of our themes applied to it too. And this is how it looks like. Until a couple of weeks ago, every time we went to the site content or to a document library, we lost completely the branding that was associated to the website. And now if you look uh, to the website, I'm on site content. This is a modern library inside of SharePoint. And as you can see, my branding, my theme, it's propagated through all the uh, website. It's a complete different theme. You will now to, you will now need to install two different themes on your environment, one for classic, one for modern, uh, with the exception of uh, modern sites that uh, will not have the classic um, theme. Uh, and this is how you will then have access um, and how you will see your uh, modern sites and modern layouts. With the theme, we also provide a color file uh, that will uh, take advantage of the change the look option. So we will also use the themes functionality of SharePoint. We never used it in the past, but now we will take full advantage of it uh, and we will brand your websites with our themes and with SharePoint themes altogether. So you will get the um, color file for the classic environment and you will get also um, in a future version a PowerShell that will include a modern theme for the modern SharePoint. And if I go over here to the change the look, you will see that I have a lot of company themes already deployed to my system. This is these are all the base themes that we will release soon for uh, the modern SharePoint with all the base colors. And as you can see, we have all the colors and this combined with the theme itself that will create the extensions at the top and at the bottom, you will uh, be able to have all the uh, theme colors applied to all the theme elements. But going back to the home page, as you can see, um, it will load again the classic site. And just to show you how similar it looks on modern websites, um, I will open this website that it's a modern communication site with the same web parts and with the same content applied to it, same theme, same customization. And as you can see, the branding is propagated through the communication site. So you can easily have the same look and feel now on modern and classic environments. If you notice at the bottom, we have the footer and uh, on classic, the scroll um, works for the entire content in the page. On modern sites, things are a bit different but we still have the footer with all the content inside of it. So if I click over here, it expands and it displays exactly uh, the same content that I have on the footer on the classic website. So you will not lose any of the uh, functionalities um, provided by the themes and provided by the um, classic themes. To add it and to modify the theme, you will need to edit your page. And once you do it, you will see that a um, few areas will appear on your page. I have a few ones at the bottom that allow me to add links directly to this area. If I expand this one, you will see all the zones that exist in this specific footer will be highlighted and I will be able to edit them and preview um, whatever I type here. And if I save it, it will then be saved into a SharePoint list and it will be propagated then to your uh, SharePoint site, exactly like we do with the CSS only themes on the classic websites. So I will discard this uh, and close this. Up here, once you go into the edit mode, you will see the 
fine tuning settings. This will bring up the settings for the team. The options available in this panel might grow in the future, but for now you can apply a compact styling to the team that will reduce um, the height of your header and the height of your footer. You can hide page title, you can hide the entire footer, you can apply the team to the headings and they will um, inherit the font from your team and you can hide the annoying feedback button that exists in all modern pages. I will save the page and all the content will um, load again. To deploy the theme um, on modern sites, you will need to use the uh, file and the PowerShell script that is provided by us. And that's what I will show you now. So first you will um, need to download the zip file and inside of it now you will find two other zip files, the one with the classic version and the one with the modern version. And inside of this SPFX one, you will have the SP color file that will apply the colors to your uh, classic SharePoint according to customization that you've made on the fine tuning customization tool. You will have the uh, theme file itself. This needs to be installed on, um, on the app catalog and you can do it globally on the global app catalog or uh, locally on the site collection app catalog if you have that functionality enabled on your site collection. So I will extract this to my desktop and I will execute the uh, installer PowerShell file. This was not So this will bring up a menu and there are a couple options over here. So you can install the theme globally and apply it directly to a site collection. You can install it globally with the full color experience, which means that we will install the color file and you will have a new, a new uh, SharePoint theme installed on your system um, available to use on your site collection. You can apply just the theme to a specific site collection if you already have it installed and you can uh, apply the theme with the uh, full color experience um, without reinstalling. And there's also options to deactivate uh, the theme from the site collection and to uninstall uh, the theme globally from your system. To get this PowerShell um, running on your computer, you will have to have uh, PowerShell PNP installed in your computer because we are using uh, PNP to build and to install everything inside of Bindtuning nowadays. 